Hello, class. Good morning. How are you all? Fine. Wow. Welcome to a new Monday, a new day of the week, right? And what's the day today? Today is Monday. And this is your week three, day one. This is the first day of the week. Are you all excited? Yes, I'm sure you must be very, very, very happy to be here in the class. Yes, great. Now, let's uh, play a small activity. Can you tell me your favorite word? Any word which is your favorite? Yes, Sara. No, sorry, Alia. A doll. Wow, you like a doll? Great. Okay, yes, uh, Ali, which one is your favorite word? Game. Wow, boys, I'm sure must like games, right? Yes, great. Okay, now Neha, which is your favorite word? A flower. Okay, a flower. Very nice, very good. So these were different words that are your favorite, right? Now, I'm going to tell, show you a few things. You are going to tell me how many are they. Okay. Can you see how many markers I'm holding in my hand? How many are they? One, two, three, and four. I have four markers, right? So they are, okay. Now what about this? I have only one marker, right? Now see. Now when I said that there are four markers it means that they are plural what are they they are plural we call them plural why because they are not one they are more than one now suppose when i said this is one marker so this this is single single so we call it a singular okay in the same way when i'm holding these pencils okay when i'm holding this pencil this is only one pencil. That means it is a single pencil, right? And we call it a singular. Okay. And when I'm holding all these, how many? One, two, and three pencils. So they are more than one, right? So we call them a plural. They are plural, right? So one, so that means that one is single and more than one is plural. Okay, all right, I'll show you a small video on this. Look at the video and we will discuss what singulars and plurals are. All right, okay. Just watch it. Let's start. Singular and plural. What is singular and what is plural? Let's find out. One egg. It's a single egg. It's a singular. Singular. Basket full of eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six eggs. It's a plural. A bunny. Single bunny is a singular. It's a single bunny. Oh, two bunnies. Three bunnies, three bunnies make it a plural. So anything which is more than one is a plural and one is singular. Okay, so you understood what is singular? Anything that is more than one is a plural and one is a singular, right? You saw there was only first there was one egg that is a singular, single egg, right? So we call it a singular word. And when there were more than one eggs, so we call it a plural, right? Okay, now I'll show you another PowerPoint and you are going to look at the PowerPoint. You can see singular and plural, right? Okay, now let's move on. You can see here that there are, this is a singular tree, right? Only one tree, right? And these are, there are three trees. So they are 
plural because there are it is not one it is more than one here again look at the following picture what do you see one monkey and uh, how many monkeys are there one two three four five monkeys so one monkey is singular and more than one is plural so what is a plural noun plural nouns means more than one like dog dogs right what do you do here you have to follow a rule that is you add s to a noun okay if you want to make it plural you will add an s right like cat if you add s over here it becomes cats okay do you understand now these are all different example like bird you or add birds broom brooms camel camels desk desk doll dolls egg eggs flower flowers here again folk folks one folk is folk and more than one is folks again one game is game if you add an s over there it becomes more than one game that is games lamp lamps nest nest pen pens photo photos shirt shirt so do you understand what i mean right so if you want to make a noun plural you add s and there are more words there are more other rule of singular and plural which we will be doing later in the class but today what we are going to learn we have learned that if we add an s to any noun at the end of any noun word it becomes a plural word right do you understand so if you want to add if you want to make a noun plural you add an s right so remember that singular means one plural means more than one do you understand so this is what we are learning in the class singular and plural right now if you open your nensel english if you have your nensel english with you yes okay now open it up page number 16 this part it all tells you about singular right that we add s to lots of naming words when we mean more than one right so one is singular and more than one is plural like here they have shown one bike two bikes one cup three cups do you understand okay now turn the page and come to this page and here what we have to do is you have to look at the pictures say how many now first picture is about ball so how many balls are here 1 2 3 4 so we add balls we will say balls right it will become balls number 2 again is two trees right number 3 is 1 2 3 dolls and number 4 is bikes bicycles 1 2 3 4 bicycles right so quickly quickly in 2 minutes do this work it's very very in not in even in 2 minutes in 1 minute time you start your work One, two, and three. Start. Time's up. Raise your hands. Yes. Okay. Now you have done it, right? You understood. If somebody asks you that what is a singular and what is a plural, how will you say? Singular means one, correct, and plural more than one. Wow! Good job. I'm so so happy for you all. that means that you have added an s right okay now tell me what are you going to do when you write a plural word what are you going to add s wow great job okay now can you tell me one plural word all of you one by one starting from ali yes games wow that's great games okay alia markers very good markers is another plural word okay neha erasers wow erasers again you have added an s right you have added an s to make it plural so i think so 
that singular and plural words are very, very much clear in your minds. Yes? Yes or no? Wow, that's great. Okay. Okay, let's do a small, small exercise here. I'm going to write some words and you are going to tell me what I'm going to add here. Okay? All right. The first word is a cow. Now, how will I uh, make it a plural? What I'm going to add? S, right. So, I will make it cows. Great. Okay. Another word is a doll. How will I write, make it plural? I will add an S. It will become dolls. Right? Okay. Now, other another word is Egg. Now, how will I make it a plural? That will become eggs. I will I'll write an egg, a S over there to make it a plural, right? Okay. Now, what about another word? A shirt. Now, how will I make it plural? By adding S. That means shirts. Great job, my class. That means that singular and plural is very, very clear to you. Clap for yourself. Good. Great. We have done it. We have learned singular and plural, right? Okay. Now, I'll be posting your homework on your portal. That will be from your workbook page. Do try to do the homework yourself. Okay? Do it yourself so that everything is clear to you. Okay, if you don't understand, leave it. You may ask me in the next class tomorrow. Okay, all right, children. Now, see you in your science lesson. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.